Hey, welcome everyone into the Wells Tech Garage for this week's episode of Counterpoint. Today, guys, I'm going to address the updating of the Wells TPMS programmer. So I'm just going to get right into it. We're going to go step by step through this procedure of how to update your Wells TPMS programmer, okay? We're going to start by, first of all, we're using a Windows-based PC here. Uh, this one is Windows 10. So if you're using Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows Vista, Windows 8, uh, chances are it's going to be very similar to this, but we are using Windows 10 here today. So we're going to start by going out to the wellsve.com website, um, or you can go out to wellsve.com forward slash TPMS. Your choice, they'll both get you there. The TPMS will take you right to this page, wellsve.com. If you go to our homepage, you're going to go to Wells Tech center column of Wells Tech, you're going to find TPMS tool resources. Click on that, and that's going to take you to the TPMS page, talking a little bit about the tool, and then you're going to find the TPMS tool updater interface. Now this is an updater interface. You are downloading software onto your computer that is going to communicate with your programming uh, tool. Every time you hook your tool up to your computer then with the software turned on, you'll be able to download the newest update. You're not going to have to go out to our website every time there's a new update. That'll be automatically done through the updater interface that we're going to download right now. All right, so we're going to click download, and you should have some sort of pop-up that's going to download a zipped file that comes in at uh, 85.9 megabytes. Okay, so our file has downloaded. You can see that this computer is pre-set up to automatically open any file that's been downloaded. Um, it looks like our directory is it downloaded to this PC in our downloads file, and then we are in the Wells Disk 1 folder. Now, not every computer is going to download it to the exact same spot. This will be dependent upon the settings that you have. But what, one thing that you can do, you can always go to your Windows button or whatever you may have, and you can type to search. We're going to look for Wells, and we should be able to pull our file wherever it may be. Dash disk, and there we go. Best match, we found Wells disk. So we'll click on that, and we open up that same folder. So if you don't know where you're downloading to, you're going to want to go ahead and perform that search function. All right, we're going to go ahead. We're going to open up our disk one folder, and we have a few options here for setup auto run or prerequisites. All right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on setup. This is an application type of file. This will be our updater interface software download. Double click on that. And now we're going to have to most likely give this thing permission. Do you want to allow this app for an unknown, from an unknown publisher to make changes to your computer? Your computer may block this and not even give you the yes option on some versions of Windows depending on your threat um, settings on there, because it's from an unknown publisher, it may not give you the option to click Yes Download. You may need to click on the Show More Details tab, which would then give you that option to download this. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click Yes. That's going to go ahead and install this software. It's going to open up the updating wizard that's going to automatically run. And it's talking about Welcome. Let's set up the TPMS tool OBD to updater. Click Next. We're going to have to accept the terms from Wells Vehicle Electronics. Click Next. And then we're going to go ahead and click Install. The wizard has successfully installed the TPMS tool updater. Now install the TPMS driver. So what that's talking about is installing this driver that's going to run our tool. So we're going to click Next. We're installing that. Looks like it successfully installed that. And now I think we are done with the installation. So let's go ahead, we'll X out of our folder. We can X out of the website. Now on our desktop, we should see this right here. All right, this is our updater platform, okay? TPMS symbol, right? It makes sense. This is what you're going to click on anytime you're ready to update your tool. So we're going to head, go ahead and open this up. And here's what you'll see. This is our updater interface. This is what is going to update our tool. We only have to download this one time. Every time that we connect the tool now to our computer, with this interface open on our computer, it will download the most recent up-to-date file. 
Okay, so now our computer is all set up and ready to go. Let's get the tool ready to go. First of all, out of the box that comes with the tool, you're going to need your micro USB to normal USB cable. This is going to attach the tool to the computer. This is just a standard USB port that's going to go into one of multiple USB ports, whatever you have the option for on your computer. How do you know what software level your tool is? Well, as you turn it on, it's going to actually flash the software level in front of you. There we go, we're using version 3.4, and it, that happened pretty quickly. We can actually hit the escape button, and we can scroll through this here. And here's where you can also change settings if you want to change temperature from Fahrenheit to Celsius, pressure from PSI to uh, probably KPA, I would think. Um, yep, KPA or bar. Um, ID format auto. You can also turn off your um, auto off timer if this thing's turning off too soon for you. And then we can also then see our version and serial number here. So I'm just going to hit escape again. We're going to go back to our home screen, our maker selection screen, and I'm going to go ahead and plug in the cable into the bottom of the tool and then plug it into the side of my computer into the USB port. And we should have some sort of loading. There we go, bootloader, USB connected. And you can already see our USB went from disconnected to connected. It started to fetch a file. It fetched the file successfully. And do you want to download an update to version 3.72? Well, yeah, obviously we want to update. That's what we're here for. We're downloading it from the official website. There's our serial number. And now it's just a simple click of the update button. All right, we're going to down start downloading. And what this is doing is it's downloading the file. And then we're going to start erasing the MCU. We're going to program the MCU. And this update does take a little bit of time. But you don't need to be sitting here waiting for it to happen. You can walk away at this point and let it run through its, its menus. Okay, so there you go. Bootloader updated successful. Remove USB connector to reset. It says update version, updated flash complete 100%. We're all good to go. So we should now have version 3.72 in our tool. So I'm going to take and disconnect the USB right out of the bottom of the tool. Bootloader waiting. We should see USB disconnect on our, on our program. It's going to go waiting and it should perform a reset. There we go. It's going to turn off. Wait for that low battery light to go out, and then we should be able to power it back up. There we go. Version 3.72, release 6 of 2017. And again, we can just go back through here, and we can see our version right there. So our tool is up to date. So as long as you have an internet connection, a Windows-based PC, and access to our website and your tool and its USB cable, you can go ahead and update your tool at any time. One thing to note. Update times will vary depending on your computer. Uh, download times to download the software for the first time will vary depending upon your internet connection. And also, before you update your tool, make sure that the battery is fully charged in the tool because it does take about 15 minutes or so. You don't want that tool accidentally shutting off during an update. Best part about the Wells TPMS programmer updates, they are always going to be free to you. Okay, We're never going to be charging for that uh, TPMS programmer updates. So every year, every six months, whenever we happen to release updates, whenever there's new updates out, you will have access to them and you will be able to download them for free. So now if you're ready to update this thing again, say you've already done one update and you're ready to do it again, all you got to do is just go back to your desktop, open up your updater platform. It's going to tell you where you're at. You don't have to go back to the website and re-download it or anything like that. It's going to pull this. All you got to do then, plug your tool in, and it's going to verify the tools version versus the most recent version out on the web. So again, our official website version, version 3.72, that is the current version in our tool, so we will not have to go through and do a new update on here. If, for whatever reason, your update does fail, 
uh, try and go through this again, but I don't see any issues. I haven't had one fail yet, but software can be software. Um, you should be good to go. All right, so that's going to be the Wells TPMS Programmer update. I hope this quick video helped with getting your tool up to date. Uh, we are currently at version 3.72, but check back often. All it takes is just 10 seconds to open up the software, plug your tool in, and see if there's a new version available. Alrighty, so thanks for watching, guys. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, share the videos, check us out on social media, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter. The um, links are down below in the description of the video. So thanks for watching this episode of CounterPoint, and we'll see you guys again next time. Happy wrenching, everyone. Thank you.